Hello and welcome to today's reading Aquarius. Today is the first day that I'm doing zodiac signs so I hope that they resonate and if you are new welcome. I am your host the Apocrypha. It is a pleasure to meet you. I hope you'll consider liking, sharing, subscribing and ding the dong if you really like these messages and want to support this little channel. Now welcome back Soul Family. I love you guys. Hugs. <laughs> so really fast I would like to give credit and give thanks to the awesome jams that we have going on to vibe with today. If you like it, disclaimers, information decks, and a link to the awesome music will be down in the description box down below. So, with that being said, today is going to be a quick three card pool with some charms and let's see what messages come through today. Let's see. Okay, right now there are two cards that came out. We have the Nine of Cups upright and we have the Ten of Pentacles upright. So let's get one more for Aquarius. Hmm. Nine and ten. to jump out what is it the four of cups in reverse okay and we have the hanged man upright underneath so let's see here okay Aquarius I feel like you're trying to stand in your personal power you're trying to be emotionally fulfilled within yourself, trying to be emotionally stable within yourself and trying not to allow any external or internal emotions um, dictate your life. The waters may be murky, may be rocky, may be rampant around you but you're still doing everything that you can to be stable for yourself and people around you. With the Ten of Pentacles here, I feel like you may be feeling confused and lost in some way, but at the same time, you're very stable. I saw 333. So not only are you very stable within yourself, and within your own power but you're trying to maneuver around the maze of life in a way where you are stable enough for yourself physically providing for yourself and emotionally stable in your life too I feel like there's so many sounds going on I'm sorry if you could hear like other sounds um, Perhaps there may be distractions. You may be feeling like you may be doing one thing and then there's a distraction, something trying to lure you into, I don't know why I'm feeling like a corner or lure you away from what it is that you're really trying to build for yourself. With the Four of Cups, you're trying your fucking hardest to let go of people, places, and things in your life that make you feel less than that make you feel like they don't want to work with you, that maybe they're just using you or trying to get at you for their own selfish, greedy desires. You may be feeling like people around you don't have your best interest at heart 
and don't have true intentions. <sighs> You're really trying so hard to take this last cup because in the original depiction of uh, the tarot four of cups in the Rider Waite tarot, we see someone leaning against a tree looking at three cups in front of them with their arms crossed and then spirit is kind of behind them trying to offer them one cup. But they're so focused on those three cups that they don't realize that other cup that Spirit's trying to give to them. So, with the Four of Cups in reverse, you're trying to pay attention to that. I saw 551. You're trying to make changes in your life to where you are accepting of people, places, and things that really do have your best interest at heart. And you're trying to build upon your love, perhaps your love life. This is the Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups shows someone who is sitting in the middle of nine cups that are behind them with their arms crossed. But they're missing one cup in order to have the Ten of Cups. And here is that one cup that you need. It is in reverse, but it is in between this other card here. Okay, so it's like you're trying to find love within yourself for yourself or within other people who really care about you. You may be desiring a deeper connection with someone at this time, but feeling really challenged. This Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles is about true, stable, uh, foundation and fulfillment and all of that within yourself and within connections but in this card again it is depicted as confusion imagining imagining the minotaur chasing you through the maze I feel like you feel that there's someone or something out to get you and no matter what it is that you do where you go it's still chasing after you and it makes you feel like you will never get what it is that you want, but you will. You just have to keep fighting for it. But the Four of Cups here, it's like this is a cemetery, an old cemetery that is this surrounded by water. Like all of this area has been abandoned and old and has drowned with the water. There's one candle that is lit and this ghoul is looking at this this tombstone that has crumbled and is cracked there is also a skull there symbolizing transformation You may have been feeling overwhelmed with emotion and it may have been making transformation and getting out of that very difficult. You're trying to follow through with what makes you happy and what lights the fire within you. But again, feeling lost in the maze and confused and conflicted because all of these rampant emotions that you have been feeling that have made you feel drowned. The hanged man underneath, you're trying to view things from a different perspective. I saw 909. Nine comes before 10. And 10 is right at the end of a new beginning. At every end is a new beginning. The hanged man is about seeing things from a different perspective in order to see the endless amount of possibilities that really are open to you. And we have another skull here. Again, making me think of the death card, making me think of transformation. Okay. We have another red being. Perhaps there's something, a blockage within your root chakra or your lower chakras. 
perhaps you've been feeling like you don't have enough grounding especially if you are in a very emotional state lately it's understandable why you will feel like you don't have a lot of stability and grounding in your life right now it's important to remember when you feel like that to center yourself back to what it is that you really want and all of that and to find that stability within yourself again to find that grounding if you have to take off your shoes and walk outside barefoot you have to you know do something like that to center and ground yourself and do it this minotaur also has their fist at their heart there may be aspects of your heart chakra that may need to be healed as well the hangman comes before the death card because this is number 12 and the death card i saw 1101 the death card is number 13. we mentioned the schools we mentioned transformation you need to view things from a different perspective in order for you to understand what it is in your life that you need to change. In order for you to, to move through this maze and reach this cup, to have ten cups and to find the ten of pentacles within the maze, I saw 1133. Three is about manifestation, one is amplification, and four, because three and one together make four, is about, I just saw 44. 1144, right as I looked up. Four is about stability. So you're trying to find this for yourself. And that's beautiful. Whenever you're feeling very emotional, whenever you're feeling lost and confused, you need to come back to the center. You need to ask yourself what it is that you really want and how you want to get there. You need to ground yourself in reality and realize, okay, so this is what I have to work with. I saw 1222 and this is where I'm headed. How can I use my resources to help me? with what it is I'm trying to manifest and build for myself. Okay. You may be feeling like there was an end to a connection that you may not have wanted it to end with this RIP here in the pool. It may have been very difficult for you and you may have been emotional even if you don't show it to other people or even if you don't show it to that person. Perhaps someone broke up with you or you broke up with someone and there may be aspects of regret or challenge or anything like that. Don't be afraid to be who you really are. I saw 1323. 1, 2, 3 is about that new beginning. It is about moving forward. And then I saw 1331. I looked down, looked back up, saw 1333. There's a lot of aspects of 3 about manifestation. Be careful what you focus your time and energy on because you are manifesting what it is that you desire by what it is that you focus on you may be desiring this connection to come back but ask yourself is that really what you want is it because you really love that person or is it because you don't want to feel alone and lost and confused anymore Three Cups is about working alongside with others in order to build something. But that one cup, you're really trying to understand what it is that you need to move forward, to have stability, to have ten cups. Perhaps you haven't had the best experiences when it comes to love it's very difficult Aquarius I feel like things have been very difficult for you 
and very emotional. But know that you're not alone. And know that you will get through this and that you can. You need to continue to believe in yourself and really ask yourself, the people, places, and things in your life, why do you put so much time and energy and care into it? Is it reciprocal? Or is it just you giving, giving, giving and not receiving anything, any feedback or any reciprocity? On my clock, I saw 441. Again, four is of stability. Four and one make five. Five is of change. And again, I keep hearing like interference. I keep hearing like other sounds, like whether it's my family or it's like someone else's TV or it's outside barking and honking and stuff like that. So you may be feeling very conflicted, very confused, very distracted. Get back to the center to figure out what it is that you need and want in your life, okay? So, let's see what we get in the charms for you, Aquarius. This is my charm bowl. What a lot of charms that came out for you. So let's dive in. First of all, we have here ballerina slippers. Perhaps you want to do dancing. Perhaps you're looking for that significant other that's going to be that perfect fit for you. Understandably that no one and nothing is perfect. Okay. So this does make me think of rose quartz, makes me think of heart healing, and I do see here we have the healing charm, which I will get to next. Find the perfect fit for you. What is it that you want in your life? No one or anything is perfect, but it's important for us to to connect and vibe in a way that is deeper than just the body. You may be looking for a deeper connection, a spiritual connection with someone. You really have to delve deeper within yourself first, Aquarius. I'm getting the sense of you needing to work through your emotions, all of these emotions that you have in order to understand where you are at in your journey and why you're there and how it is that you can become a better version of yourself for yourself and for whoever it is that you bring into your life in the future. So we have here the healing. We see the Kundalini, the Caduceus. We have the Ankh, we have Egyptian wings. And this is a hexagon. It says, Healing with serpents rising and flowers in bloom for life's sake from the cosmic womb. Healing powers flow through me, make me hail and whole, so mote it be. I hear dogs barking. So again, with the thought of rose quartz and heart healing and mentioning about sorry going back into your heart and feeling what it is that you really want and healing your heart working through the heart chakra there's a lot about finding inner balance when you find the inner balance you will find external balance it is easier for you to come into union with the people places and things in your life when you are in union with yourself it's the only way okay Every story has an end, but in life, every end is just a new beginning. And I feel like for some of you, this may be in regards to that connection that we were talking about earlier. Every end is a new beginning. And I was talking about the death card several times about a new beginning. You want to have a new beginning, a new connection, then you need to work on having that within yourself, Aquarius. 
Know that every end is not the end forever, but it just leaves way, it makes way for paving the path of something new to come into your life that resonates better. You're trying to remain hopeful. It makes me think of the star card, hope, perspective, faith. Pursue what it is that makes you happy. Pursue those dreams, those aspirations, and all of that that makes you feel whole within yourself. Okay, Aquarius? Now we have the Dragon Charm. So this came out in a couple other signs, but if you have been feeling called to left-hand path or draconian things or, you know, kundalini, um, things like that, then I would recommend uh, looking deeper into it perhaps it is a message for you and that it will help you understand yourself better and understand understand aspects of you that you have pushed away with this punk charm um perhaps you were raised into believing things were not good and then you realize that that's what you want and you may be feeling conflicted because you were raised that it's not good in the end, as long as you're not hurting anyone or anything, you're not causing harm to any living creature, then you do you. And fuck what other people think. Okay? This rubber band is about elasticity. It is about coming to rest when needed and also expanding when you need to expand. With all that, uh, the death energy, the healing energy, the kundalini, the uh, heart chakra energy here, there's a lot about expanding the heart, a lot about understanding the heart. Stop trying to run away from what it is that you really want just because it is difficult. Here we have a sword, which is making me think of the ace of swords. If you need to convey something to someone, if you need to apologize, if you need to say how you really feel, if you need to clear up the air or anything of that sort, then you should do it. Don't be afraid to. And if someone cuts you off, which is another thing that I feel like you need to do, is release connections that no longer resonate you wouldn't no longer resonate with you. Okay, Aquarius? But if people cut you off, then you know who's really there for you and who's not, okay? And just because you've been cut off for a moment, sometimes some people need space and that's okay and that's normal. But you will know what's right for you and you will know what's not right for you. And if you don't, then that's even more reason and confirmation for you to go within and figure that out, okay? Here with the Maneki Nako, the lucky cat, we have the kanji for luck here in the center. I feel like you're really trying to manifest, you're really trying to build for yourself, and you're really trying to become a better version of yourself. You want to bring more prosperity and luck, abundance, and all of that into your life. But you have to create that for yourself in order for you to receive that from other people. You may be wanting to go back to school. You may be a student. I saw 2333. There may be something that you want to learn. And it doesn't mean that you have to go back to school. If you don't want to, then don't. There are so many talented musicians and artists, etc. That have never gone to higher education. And look at them. Self-taught is, is not any less valid than being traditionally taught. I would say being self-taught and still having the skills and all of that is more admirable, to be honest. Because it goes to show that you have hard work and dedication, devotion for your craft. Whether you go to school or you don't, what matters is that you're pursuing what it is that you desire. And that you're not letting anyone or anything in the way of that, including yourself. Okay, Aquarius? So the last charm that we have here is this ring that I made myself in a metals class that I took. Um, we had to cut cuddle fish bone and make a, um, a mold. 
and so this is something that even though it's not perfect I was really proud of because it actually wasn't easy for a lot of uh, my classmates to make a ring that actually was whole and so it means a lot to me because I was trying to be so diligent and so paying attention to how can I align these two pieces of cuttlefish bone together so that it will align perfectly and then I can tie it up so that when I pour the metal inside, I will have a ring that is whole. Now, I did notice that there were other students who just put the cuttlefish bones together based on the cuttlefish bone instead of focusing on the actual placement of the inside of where they marked for whatever design that they were doing. So what I'm saying here Aquarius is be diligent don't follow what everyone else is doing trying to fit things on the external you need to fit things on the internal you're trying to make something then you need to fit it based on the internal not the external okay and be proud of your work there's also it may be difficult to see, but you can kind of see the texture of the bone. It kind of looks like, like fingerprint or something. Know that you, your talents, your desires, and all of that is unique to you. And you need to pursue that for yourself and whatever it is that you want to build for yourself, okay Aquarius? So that's what I have for you today. I hope that these messages resonated, brought you hope, clarity, and perspective into your situation. I love you guys. I hope you'll consider joining this little soul family if you haven't already by liking, sharing, subscribing, ding the dong if you really like my messages and all of that. So thank you, Soul Family, for being here. I wish you guys the best always, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye, Aquarius. Take care.